see you today. Do you know much about lemurs? Well, if you do, that's great! But if you don't, well, don't you think it's high time you did? To learn more about these fuzzy little primates, we're going to have to go back many millions of years to when the Earth was still pretty new. Going to ancient Africa, we're going to be in a time known as the Age of Reptiles. Now, the reason why it's called the Age of Reptiles is because paleontologists consider the dominant animal in that time period to be the dinosaur. Now, I'm sure that in any time period, the dominant animal would be the insect by far, but since they're so small, most of the time, we don't really consider them. Just about now, the primate is starting to evolve. But because of the constant threat of the dinosaur being there, the primate stayed very small and mostly living in trees. However, thanks to a giant meteorite, the threat of the dinosaurs was quickly extinguished. The extinction of the dinosaurs gave the primate a lot more freedom to evolve. evolutions was the lemur, which evolved some 40 million years ago in ancient Africa. While you're waiting for more information, about 88 million years ago, an island broke off of the coast of India and has been floating around. Today, this island is known as Madagascar. Back to ancient Africa. Right now the lemur is living in Africa and it's pretty happy. But Madagascar is right next to Africa. On purpose or not, for some reason the lemur went to Madagascar on gigantic floating mats of vegetation. There it lived pretty happily and because of the lack of outside influence, our lemur was able to evolve much more freely. One of these evolutions was the giant sloth lemur, which compared in size to a male gorilla. Now in the jungles of Madagascar, the lemur is still living in trees and is still very small compared to the average person. The lemur is prosimian, a class that applies to lemurs, galagos, tarsiers, and lorises. The lemurs branched off from other primates, otherwise known as simians, about 63 million years ago. The lemur also belongs to a suborder called Strepsirini, which includes many of the same primates as the class Prosimian. One of the defining traits of Strepsirini is rhinarium, otherwise known as wet nose. Rhinarium is the moist outer surface of an animal's nose. This is usually found in dogs and cat and other non-primate mammals. But the reign of the lemurs was not to last, for soon came the humans. And, like usual, the humans brought with them death and mass extinction via habitat destruction and hunting by the pound. This significantly decreased the overall population of all lemur species, and some species even went extinct. But with your help and mine, and well, maybe some funds to go with it, <laughs> we may be able to bring back the lemur in all of its lemury glory.